Hello guys and welcome back guys to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you, share you and teach you one of the really really powerful gold scalping strategies which I'm using right now and I'm making 36% return on my investment uh, around 1600 euro profit in just 20, less than 20 minutes time, okay? Uh, and the profits are growing, okay? So I'm monitoring this trade really, really carefully because there is a short-term resistance and I need to take my money in this area, you know, around this area. Otherwise, uh, you know, the price could drop. So guys, make sure you watch this video until the end. So if you're a newbie, if you're looking for the trading edge when you trade gold, guys, here I'm gonna show you really powerful, you know, scalping strategy so this gold scalping strategy will not only help you to you know to, uh, to help you identify where to enter the trade when the markets are going up 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 so whenever markets are going up 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 there is a question okay where should we enter the market uh, you know to not lose you know to not miss the opportunity I always guys remember to never be you know never follow FOMO okay but the thing is this that uh, this strategy you can okay here we go nice nice I need to take my I need to close my trade very very closely guys because I my plan was to close this trade at 1881 okay so uh so my TP is 1882, so okay guys, so I need to close my trade. And when I close this trade, let's jump into this strategy, and I'm gonna show you guys everything. So, uh, okay, it's still, it's still, it still goes my way. So I need to closely monitor one minute, so there is still, still momentum support, okay? Yeah guys, so let's jump into this strategy, let's quickly learn it, so you can also generate such great, you know, such profits. So guys, profits, I mean, it's 40% ROI. How much is that? So it depends how much you put in. If you put 1,000, it's gonna be 1,400. If you put 10,000 euro, it's gonna be four. It's gonna be 14,000 14, euro. Okay, from 10k, uh, 10k. Here we go, guys. Uh, and the trade goes my way. It broke out this resistance. Nice. So what I need to do is I need to just chill and uh, watch my profits grow. So guys, let's jump into this strategy once and for all, so you can uh, you know you can use it as well. And uh, where is my belt? One, two, three. Make sure guys you click that subscribe button and, and ring bell button to never miss any of my video news, news releases. And let's begin. Hey, what's up guys? So stay tuned guys. Alright, so I can see that the one minute candle is breaking out, it means if the new candle opens above your resistance, it means resistance is broken and from that point forward the price is gonna go up. So if you're my academy member, then you know these small little tweaks and quirks. But the thing is, is that, uh, so, uh, rule number one, what do we need for this powerful strategy? Three things, okay? The same things I told you 10 months ago when I explained you this strategy and it got quite amount of views, okay? Because I also get a lot of emails a lot of emails from viewers, from you guys, you know, thanking me, you know, to showing me, this, to showing you this strategy. And it's understandable why you're thanking me, because guys, it's really powerful and I'm also using it to make money, okay? Uh, and especially it works great on safe haven, uh, it's on safe haven forex currency pairs uh, and on commodities such as gold. So what do we need for this? So rule number, let me just make some sort of, a, I don't know, uh, so uh, then let's begin. So uh, rule number one, we need three EMAs, three exponential moving average lines. Simply go to a charting solution, and this is tradingview.com. Click on indicators. Click on exponential. Wow, wow, wait, wow. Expon, ex moving average exponential. Okay, so EMA. We need three of them, and. Uh, we can see them here on the chart. So one of them is gonna be the same. Okay, one of them is gonna be 14. Any color you want. Okay. The next one is gonna be 21. Any color you want and click on. So then to 21 and click on. Okay, these are just settings. Okay. And the third EMA is seven. So click on it. Click on this is this uh, settings button. Uh, make sure that you enter the length seven. Style doesn't matter. This one in this case it's red. So what matters is that we have three EMAs, uh, 20, where my mouse is, so 14, 21, and 7, or 7, 7 21, 14, it doesn't matter, because once you put them on a chart, they're gonna, they're gonna organize themselves uh, based on the length. Okay? And now the strategy, not sure if you can see those numbers on the board, so the strategy is as follows. We are looking for the candlesticks not, that are not, that are not touching any of the EMAs. So we are looking for the con we're looking for the conditions. Uh, we're looking for the conditions whenever the candlesticks are not 
touching the EMAs, you know, uh, the, these three EMAs right here. So whenever that happens, uh, like here, 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 so, okay, so let's start from here, okay? Whenever that happens, we are looking for the candlestick not to touch it. Whenever that happens, like here, okay? We are looking for the first candle to touch any of the EMAs. And that candlestick who touched the EMA will be your trigger candle. Uh, and from then we're gonna count five candlesticks back. And if the candlesticks are above the EMAs, it means we are going to go, uh, you know, bullish. And we are going to place uh, buy trades at the highest price of the, of the highest candlestick. So let's do it in action. So here the candlesticks did not touch the any EMAs. Nice. We wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. Okay. Then this candlestick, as you can see, whoa, tsh, touched one of the EMAs. So this candlestick is our trigger candle. Then we count five candlesticks back. One, two, three, four, five. Then we choose the highest and lowest points of those candlesticks. Where was the highest point? This was the highest point right here. Okay, when, it, when we take into consideration the body. This was the highest body right here. Okay, so and because the candlesticks are above the EMAs, it means we are going with the buy trade. So we are we are going to create buy order at 1868. Because this was our highest point. So whenever price goes down, we don't care. Because we are not losing money. We are, go, we are based on this strategy, we are only entering the buy trade at this price level. So whenever the price goes down, uh, newbie traders will be blown up. They will blow their accounts up. Okay, they will. They want to go, uh, you know, uh, against the trend or whatever. They want to, you know, if they see that the support is broken, we don't care about that. We care about this trading strategy that we only enter at this price level buy at here so we so our open order will be pending and nothing will happen okay more money will not be gone anywhere we will wait 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 and then after some time as you can see the price went up and here thing exactly at this level price touched our entry price okay so our pending order will be filled and we are only gonna buy automatically because the pending order will be already created and whenever price goes here, our pending order will be filled. So from this point forward, we are making money. So and we are going to exit this buy trade at the next uh, next uh, next uh, resistance, okay? So when we take when we were looking at five minute chart, we could not see the resistance, right? If, if we enter the buy trade here based on this strategy, where is our resistance? Okay, we will not see the resistance. Because the price just went up, up, up. Okay, so how to find the resistance? To find the resistance, we need to look at the larger time frames. And can we do it? Can we look at can we see the resistance on 15 minute chart? No, we cannot see resistance on a 15 minute chart. It means we need to look at a larger time frame. Let's do it. Next one is 50, 30 minutes. So that's guy, that's how you need to use the time, different time frames, guys, okay? When you need to find something and you cannot find it on a one time frame, you need to move on, look for larger time frames. Um, but this is just like a one kind of little, little, little week, okay? So now on a 30 minutes, we can see clearly that the, the, on 30 minute chart, previously the highest price was here. So what does it mean? It means we should take our money from our buy trade here, okay? So and it will be nice, nice, nice in the money trade as you can see. Let me just take a look at my trade. Okay, okay, I'm making currently two thousand. Currently, I'm guys, I'm making fifty-three percent return on my investment. Oh no, it's going. Actually, I'm going against my trading. Okay, okay, okay. The price went up. Now it's going down. Okay, it broke out. This very interesting. So five minutes. Uh, uh, five minutes. Okay, this is a kind of five minute, five minute support for me. So when a price now is 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 once is touching the five minute support, so I can still wait. So let's guys continue with this strategy. Okay, let's look for more examples. Let's delete all this and let me teach you again and again two more times. Okay, how the strategy will look like. Okay, so again, we're looking for the candle six not to touch the EMAs. Boom, condition met. Then we look for the first candle to touch the EMA. Boom, condition met. Then we are counting five candle six back. One, two, three, four, five. Looking for the highest and lowest point. Highest point, lowest point. If the candlesticks are above EMAs, we only go for buy. So we look for the highest point, which is here. So we enter, we enter our pending buy order for gold against dollar at 18070. Okay. Anyway, let's look for. But I mean, as you can see, it happens again and again. Okay. So let's just. I mean, again, candlesticks not touching EMA. First candlestick touched EMA. Five candlesticks back. 
well, it's the same level there. But anyway, so you would enter the trade around this area, it will be filled automatically, and then the price goes up. Again, exit the price at the next resistance and larger time frame. Let's look for, uh, let's look for, oh yeah, let's look for a sale opportunity, okay? Okay, this is gonna be interesting, okay? Now, uh, let's see, the price, uh, like here, okay, the price broke out uh, of the EMAs and, the pr and, and, and not touching EMAs, okay? And now, the first candle touched the EMA was this candle. The strategy is the same. We count five candles, six back. One, two, three, four, five. Highest point, lowest point. Candle six are below the EMAs. It means we are going to make sale trade at the lowest point because this is a sale trade. So we would oh, we would create a pending order for gold for our sell trade here at this price point because based on the strategy this is the lowest point and we are using lowest point for our sell trades instead of using higher price points for our buy trades okay because this is vice versa strategy and so we enter buy trade here so what's going to happen did we lose or win money nothing happened we didn't lose and we didn't win because the price went up 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 but we didn't lose any money because our trade was never filled or trade is still pending and our money has not lost or even invested okay you can because you can close your pending order whenever you want here we go guys so i hope you enjoy this video and let's just go a little quick recap okay so the thing number one we need three emas and five minute chart then we look for the conditions whenever candle six are not touching the emas then we look for the first candles to touch the ema and we enter the trade uh at the lowest or highest points from those five candlesticks when we count five candlesticks back and we exit uh, and we exit our buy trades below next resistance and we exit our sell trades above next support previous support sorry makes sense right guys if you need help in trading you're always welcome guys to email me at incomementorbox at gmail.com visit my website andrew's trading channel and get your free ebook your free stuff and guys yeah guys if you want to copy signals from my signals group you're always welcome to join my academy but always remember guys there is no such thing as magic in trading okay it's all about education and, uh, and practice okay which is a key and, and the thing is, is that once you learn these kind of like, patterns it's, it can really be an eye-opener guys i just wanted to show you a quick update so at the moment guys i am making 90 over 90 percent ridiculous return on my investment okay uh, in just now so now it's just uh, one hour and 20 minutes okay so in one hour and 20 minutes i was able to nearly double my investment which was 4500 euro okay now i'm making nearly the same money back in just one hour and 30 minutes by using this really really powerful trading strategy so that my entry was in, was, was here guys okay so uh, as you can see guys it's you know uh, so i had to take i had to delete my take profit level okay because the price kept going up so guys, if the price keeps going up, what you need to do is simply look at this at, at your at your five minute time frames like, like here. So the price went down, then it went up, then again I made my five minute resistance, like you see right here. And what happened now? Five minutes ago, new candle opened above my uh, above my resistance. It means the resistance is broken. It means it, the resistance has become my support. So I'm like waiting, I'm just sitting back, okay, uh, looking at my cat, <laughs> he's sleeping, Blackie is sleeping, and I'm just waiting, for, looking at my money rolling in, okay? So yeah, guys, thank you for watching again this video, and see you again next time, guys. Bye, bye.